In this tutorial we'll learn how to take one sky out of a photo and replace it with another sky. What we want to do is cut this foreground and middle ground out of this image so we can place it on top of some other images. We want to cut right along the top of this mountain range and cut this foreground and middle ground out. The way we do that is with our magnetic lasso tool. Let's go up to our magnetic lasso tool click on this. Look at our lasso video if you want to learn how to use these tools. Magnetic lasso tool. Now we'll leave our feather at one pixel. Remember feather means to soften the edge. In other words the cut will have one pixel of softness on the edge. We'll set the width at five pixels. The magnetic lasso tool will detect edges only within five pixels from the pointer. It won't reach out to clouds above it or mountains below it. It's just going to detect edges within five pixels of where I drag it. We'll set the contrast to 10%. You can enter a value between 1 and 100% for the contrast. A higher value detects only edges that contrast sharply, very dark against very light. That's a sharp contrast. A lower value will detect lower contrast edges. And these are actually lower contrast edges because there's not that much contrast between the mountain and the clouds in the background. We'll set the frequency at 25. The frequency specifies the rate at which the lasso tool sets its fastening points. Those are the little squares where it fastens itself to the edge of the selection. So you can enter a value between 0 and 100 for the frequency. When you set it at a higher value, you'll see a lot more of the little squares. In other words, it sets the anchors closer together. You don't have to hold down to drag, you just click once and then you can start dragging along the area that you want to select. Based on the settings that we set above, it will follow the line of contrast at the edge of the visible horizon line. So we're dragging across here. I usually click right here when I make a sharp turn, so click there. Drag down to the corner, click, and drag over to the other corner and click. Okay, and then drag up to now when you get to this point remember this little round dot shows up and that means you're finished with your selection and you just click once when the round dot shows up and you have your selection this foreground and middle ground where the dots are is selected we're going to copy this selection let's open up the layer palette we'll click on the layer palette and then control C and then control V for paste Photoshop creates a new layer and it puts your selection in a new layer. You can see here when I turn the background off there's no sky anymore. What we did is we cut the foreground and the middle ground out and we put it on a new layer and now that new layer is on top of the background so we can turn the background off and now our sky is basically invisible so we can place this new layer on top of other skies. Now while we're here let's rename this layer. I'll right click in the blue area. Click on layer properties. We'll name this empty sky. Say OK. Now we need to get some other photographs. Here's a quick way to do it with Photoshop. You go up here to this button here and we're going to minimize this window. We're going to open up two windows. One with Photoshop in it and one with your photos in it. Click on start and navigate to wherever your photographs are. Everyone's photographs will be in different places. I go to my pictures, then pictures for paintings. So I'll select clouds. Now we click on this button to minimize this window. So now we have two windows open. One with Photoshop in it and one with our photographs in it. We'll scroll through our photographs and select a photo that we like. I'll take this one with these nice clouds in it. You click on the photo, drag over to Photoshop, let go of your click, and then right click and click on place. I'll grab a couple more photos here just as an example. Left click on the photo, drag it into Photoshop, let go of left click, right click, and then click on place. Left click on place. I'll grab one more and we can try three different skies. We'll get more of a sunset this time. Left click and drag and drop. Photoshop is making a separate layer for each photograph. Now let's close our photo window. Maximize Photoshop again. We can see here each photo as I turn this little eye on and off. You can see each photo that we collected. 
Now we want to resize these photographs. Remember you have to highlight the layer that you're working on, so click on the layer until the layer turns blue. That's Control T is transform. You grab each corner and you can transform it any direction and as much as you want to. So I want to just make it fit in this frame and then double click to get the X off of the image. We want our foreground and middle ground on top of all these photographs. So I'll drag it up to the top of the layers. So left click on the layer that is entitled Empty Sky and drag it to the top of all the other layers and then let go of left click. Now let's transform this one. Remember you have to highlight the layer that you're working on. So click on the layer until the layer turns blue and then Control T and then you can grab the corners and transform it. Let's do the last one. Remember, highlight the layer, Control T, grab the corners, and pull them to anywhere that you want. Now, we have this layer off. Let's turn it on. If you want to move the images around, you go up to the Move tool and click on it and whatever layer is highlighted will be the one that you can move. And This is our empty sky layer and then I click on the sky and I can move it around. Now this sky and ground really don't work together so we'll adjust the contrast a bit on the ground layer. Let's go to image, adjustments, brightness and contrast and here you see we have brightness and contrast. We can change that a bit to make it work a little better. Notice that this is adjusting only the foreground and middle ground layer, which is our empty sky layer. Now let's turn the sunset layer off and we'll turn this other sky layer on. Leave our empty sky layer on, of course. Highlight the layer that you want to move. So you can move the sky around and you can move the foreground around. Now we can do this with the last sky. Turn this sky on and move it around. This actually works pretty good, except for that big rock sitting up there on the right. Now we can actually get rid of that. That's another tutorial. We can actually get that rock out of there and make it look like the natural sky. You can see that this last sky is the one that's going to work best for us. So that's one way to change skies on an image. When you've got a great foreground, a great middle ground, but the sky is just boring or doesn't work, pick a sky that you like and you can drop a new sky right into a photo with the power of Photoshop. Thanks for watching and if you have questions go to our forum and ask there.